How you guys doing? And thanks for watching. This is George coming to you live from Wicked Warnings, your number one source for construction and emergency safety strobe lighting and equipment for cars, vans, trucks, buses, bicycles, tricycles, SUVs like this real fancy 2021 Ford Escape. What you're looking at in the front of this SUV is our Lin 6. And I'm going to put all the details for this particular bundle at the end of the video. We've got some detailed pictures on the grill. We've got a video for the grill. We've got a video for the hideaway in the back. And I've even uh, got a little bit of detail about the switch as well. We're going to put it all at the end of the video. This particular build you're going to want to reference if you're making any questions about it is build number 18470. I'm going to ballpark six hours of labor on this build if you were to do it yourself. And the parts are going to be included as follows. The front two lights you're looking at right now, that's an amber LIN-6. We don't need any mounting brackets or anything, just the lights themselves. We're going to supply 25 feet of a 22-5 to extend those LIN-6s in through the firewall to your switch. Around the back, we're featuring our Echo Haw in an HD lens in all amber. We're going to supply one of the sets of Echo Haw. That's two lights in one product. We're also going to supply 25 feet of a 22 or 18, rather 18-5. That, that wire is going to extend the Echo Haw from the rear of the vehicle forward to your switch. We're going to provide you with a three-quarter switch. We're also going to provide you with 25 feet of 16-2. That's going to be your power and ground. It's going to come forward from the factory battery backwards to your switch. We're going to provide you a fuse kit for that as well. And we're also going to give you 12 pieces of eighth-inch heat shrink. That's the bundle. The assembly is up to you. Setting the flash patterns is up to you. But this is a very achievable, very medium-level job. Again, in the front there, that's LIN-6. It's just set on a triple flash alternation pattern. Let me spin it around and show you the rear. Around the back, we did the HAW in the outer lens. I got a real good video explaining exactly why we did that and how to do that. That's a HD lens, Echo Haw. As you can see, it's in the outer lens. So if the rear hatch raises, the lights remain active and visible. Now you could also change the color up if you wanted a different color other than amber. You can go ahead and feel free to change the color up and select whatever you like. Alrighty, here inside the vehicle, you can kind of see where our switch placement is right there. I like it up there because you can't ignore it. It's very visible. It's very hard to drive away with the with switch on and the lights active. We just went ahead and threw a little label on it right there. It's just a three quarter rocker switch. And as far as how that's installed, we took our three-quarter bit and we drilled in from this way on a downward angle right like this and it comes out in the plastic we took this out we put a screwdriver in here and in here and you can kind of pop the tabs there's four tabs about here and about here top and bottom and this whole assembly pops forward and then you're able to get to the hole right back here and we ran the wiring through the firewall follow the firewall video i'll show you all about that but uh, this was fairly easy for this switch and it's flat enough right here where as you can see when you drive away pretty easy to tell that your hazard lights are on so you won't be driving all around town with the lights on thanks again for watching wicked warnings your number one source for construction and emergency safety strobe lighting equipment for cars vans buses bicycles tricycles trucks everything in between make sure to check the links in the description for your bundle and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching. Hey guys, just a quick bit of detail on these grill lights. These are Lin 6s, but you could probably do this with a TIR3 uh, or a Sound Off M Power, I think would fit in the same area. Uh, basically, what I'll show you here is our final product. I'm gonna have the light mounted right there. That is one of the solid grill areas. I like it because you can go just to the left of this rubber here and then tuck the rubber back like that. Okay, and that gets you out from behind the shutters, the active shutters. The wiring comes out on the other side. And the way that I did it, I actually use a 90 degree bracket as a template, but you don't have to. Um, I do use the gasket here to help seat the light. I pre-drill my small holes there. I drill a half inch hole in the middle. I use the included fasteners. And we mount it up there real nice and it, and it sits, as you can see, sits fairly nice and level. It's nice and secure, it's not going anywhere. And the wiring comes up right back here, okay? So it comes right out from behind the active shutters there. It's very easy to run right along the front here. 
and over to here where you'll go through the firewall hole we discussed earlier you have a fuse holder right here at the battery for your fuse power and ground that'll head inside to your switch so fairly easy on the front of this as far as your grill lights go they're that simple on a 2021 escape hope this was useful for you thanks again